Yo guys, PC Dictator here. Welcome back to Banished. Um, I'm just continuing the uh, Let's Play. Not Let's Play, the series. Um, so we're starting to stock up the trading post. Hopefully we can get an A Merchant. And we can hopefully trade a, um, trade for some cows and things. And when we trade for the cows, we can breed them ourselves and stuff like that. So we can get a lot more cows that way. Or any kind of animal. So hopefully we can build this new house here. There. And um... Get another family in. So, that'll be nice. Build some more houses and start ramping up production of food. For the winter. Because, I mean, we have eight laborers and five farmers working. Well, really, two now, but I don't know why I didn't stop that one. I'm going to send another herbalist. Mm. What else? I guess that's good enough for now until we get a tailor. Um, so, I guess we can build another farm, like, right here. That's big enough for me. It's gotta remove one tiny bush. One teeny tiny little bush. The loneliest bush in the field. Well, we've run out of food. That's not good. Um, as you can see no stored food. All the houses have food, but we don't have any food actually in the food store, which is probably not a good thing. What we can do is we can probably assign more fishermen, which I'm an idiot for not do doing, or because, well, I'm an idiot. I'm the world's biggest idiot, of course. Um... I should get a prize for being the world's first biggest idiot, you know? Or the world's stupidest person, I don't know. I don't know, whatever you want, whatever makes you people happy. Not sure. I'll only make some peppers on this field, just in case. Because, I mean, all these other fields, all they do is just make potatoes. I mean, I mean, would you like having fish and potatoes every night for dinner? I don't know. Huh. Tough question, I guess. What is this? What's happened? What happened to our workers? What? Mm -hmm. Did the farmers run off over here to cut down this stuff? They did! He's running over here, so he doesn't have to work. Lazy person. Everyone's lazy. I don't want to work. That doesn't need to be worked. I'm trying to figure out why it's being worked and the other... You can build out here. Oh, right. We're building the gatherer's hut. Right, right, right. I forgot about this, actually. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. But this was being built all the way out here. So what we can do is we can probably get a... 
Nice little road. Nice little road, and just connect that up there. And just connect this up, so then this will have its free space, and this can just be connected up. So we can do that. And I believe these peach trees are matured. Well, we should be able to harvest this next uh, season. Um, so it's about late winter now. Let's just speed this up. I'm just going to speed this up a bit. Um, you know, because we can. Just speed it up. Okay, now this is where we start to get into the real stuff. Alright, so let's get all these farms back in business. Okay, now how many farmers do we need total? Thirteen! Well, we can field eleven. Get rid of these two guys, and uh, that's thirteen farmers. We can have less in that field. So it was twelve. So we have some extra laborers. <sighs> Gatherer's hut. God. <clears throat> kind of thinking that was a bad idea now. Um. Hmm. Let me get rid of the extra herbalist. And get one gatherer. A gatherer. There we go. Oh, no. Give me both. Only not one. There we go. So we can still keep boosting this. Maybe build a hospital for physicians and things. God damn. Alright, Java is the best for interrupt interrupting videos. Sorry. Alright, so we should be able to actually harvest these peach trees this um, season. Hopefully, I think. Um, I think so. Yeah. Well, look at this. What is this? And then these guys are like just letting them walk through this newly plowed ground. And look, look, tiny little ones. These tiny, teeny, tiny ones. Look at them. They're so tiny. And this little tiny one's got horns. I didn't think they had horns when they were tiny. But you just, they just took like the large one and then they just shrunk it down. I'm pretty sure that's what they did. Do we not have any actual wood now? Is this a problem? Or is this person just not cutting fast enough? I'm gonna go with this person isn't cutting fast enough. I'm gonna raise the limit to... Ooh. Raise the limit to 60. I mean, we just, like, chop through firewood. Actually, you know what? Go for 80. I mean, people normally don't use much of the summer. And, uh, some of these trees are actually getting bigger. So, this will keep planting these saplings. And what we can do is we can probably get a nice... Is this... No, it's not getting any more. Alright, so could probably have them planting and cutting at the same time, so so we can get a fresh supply and of logs, because right now we're not gonna get anything. And we don't have any food whatsoever. The gatherer set's actually doing pretty well. Being like out in the middle of nowhere, it's doing pretty well. So that's uh we are growing peppers, we're growing potatoes, hopefully we'll get livestock, hopefully we can get some livestock. These people, they don't have food for some reason. Do any food here? No, of course we don't. Because everyone on the top insists on having lots of food. Problems. Mm. 
Maybe we can get rid of the fishermen for now and just have them assigned as gatherers. For now, anyway. Just won't have this being worked. Just won't have it worked. So we can get the extra food from the gatherers hut because really I think I placed it in a pretty good spot for it to get, gather up the food. That's a pretty good spot. So maybe we can get some nice berries and things. <clears throat> and I was thinking we could probably put the lovely tavern like here. Right here. And we'll just pause that for now. We won't build this for now anyway. We will just take care of that later. And these people don't have any food. It is not getting here. People are just like running in here too quickly. So hopefully get food because you know, normally you don't get food in this like little time in between. What we can do is we can get rid of that herbalist for now because we don't really need them. And we can probably only assign two people here and then two people as fishermen. Yeah, that works. For now, anyway, I guess that works. And, uh, turn on the fishing dock, I guess. And then the people without jobs should find jobs. And uh, you get a job now. Yes, see, we're actually starting to starve. Yep. We might actually have to harvest early for late spring. We don't have any peaches, so we can't do that. Normally that'd be my first thing to grab. I just really hope that this thing pumps it out. Big time. We could probably get another storage barn. Another storage barn out here, just so it can go right into the system, I guess. Because these people don't get this food quickly enough. Start dying off. And they can't get food. Oh, what onions? Oh, whoa, now onions. Where did these people start getting onions? Mushroom, roots. Oh, see these people right here. They're just sucking up all the food before anyone else can get any. probably do is get rid of one of the foresters for now and assign them as fishermen. I'm not sure if we want to get rid of the gatherers. For now. For now we'll get rid of the gatherers and we'll shut off the gatherers hut for now. We'll turn the gatherers hut on in the winter time. But what we will do is we'll have lots of uh, fishing going on, just so this thing can crank out, and this person might die hunger. <laughs> Alright, harvest this potato crop here early, and I don't want to harvest the pepper field yet. We'll harvest this field early, try and get more food to the people, because we really don't want people to die. I'm serious, I don't want anyone to die this season. Nobody is dying. So we're going to harvest this, even though it's at 46 yield. Um, this season was a bad season. Door needs to calm nine tits, because this is ridiculous. I mean, really, no rain. It's gotta calm down. Start bringing on the rain. It's gotta bring some rain. And someone has died of starvation. Like I said before, people are gonna start dying if we can't harvest these damn potatoes. Get them in there. People to eat. Come on. 
And a person died. Look, see? It is. Start getting those potatoes in there. Come on. I'm waiting for. Get your potatoes. Start harvesting this field, harvesting that field too. Let me place some. Stop the trading. Stop the trading for now. We can get these people as gatherers. Ah, ow! Alright, let's just harvest everything. Harvest all the crop now. Forget it. You know what? Forget it. Just harvest everything. Harvest everything now. I don't care now. Just harvest everything. Can we get going? Can we, like, actually get going? Is that a thing? Can we, like, ramp up this, please? Can we, like, actually start doing this or no? I'm gonna guess no. Like, these guys are, like, so lazy. They're just gonna... Everyone's gonna die. And then they're gonna be like, Where's all my friends? Nope. Nope, you killed all your friends. That's what happened. Alright, you know what? Let's get the gatherers back in business. Because this is not gonna work out well. We don't have enough food now. Wait, we're gonna be... Mm, we're done. We can't get food to these people. We're done. Like, we are done. Because a lot... Like, we've had two people die now. Two. Two people die. Two people. Two people now. In one season. Alone. Two people dying. And normally, we don't have anyone dying. So that says a lot. We could probably do with getting another fishing dock or something. Because I really hate it when these people start dying off. And if you don't have workers, you're just royally farmed. There's no workers. All right. Okay. Now nobody's starving. That's good. So. Good thing we got that running up. Ramping up the production. The fish farm, and then how many farms do we have? Four now? Four rival gangs of farms? Four rival farms in an orchard? Alright, so we'll cancel the work there, and these those two people should probably just help. Out. We won't. We can get rid of those two people off the list. Get that ten. Ten farmers. Assign those as gatherers. Really? You're seriously starving. We got 153 stored food. Get your new food. Look, look, these people are so lazy. These fishermen, so lazy. Won't even go get their own food, they'll all die because they don't want to get their food. The only town who doesn't want to go get their own food. The only, only, only house that won't get their own food. That says a lot. That says a lot about them. So, total population now of uh, 27, so... Now the total population of 27, we should probably try ramping up our production and stuffs. Because we just don't have the resources to do some of these things. Like, we can't keep a steady food supply. It's interesting. Like, we can't actually do that. But hopefully we can continue harvesting these potatoes. Where is that third worker? Hopefully we can finish harvesting the potatoes and the peppers before, uh, for winter. Hopefully before winter we can 
get all these potatoes and the peppers before uh, they die off. And this peach, these peach trees are actually starting to, these peach trees are actually producing some sort of yield. So hopefully by autumn we can just grab as many as we can quickly. Pretty quickly. Um, just scoop them up and then. Alright, so let's get one gatherer and we'll have him reassign as a herbalist because I don't want I don't want health failing either. I really don't want that happening. I don't know if we really need another fishing dock yet because I think are we building anything? We're not building anything, right? Seems under construction. Okay, I'm gonna go with nothing's under construction right now, so we can start slamming this fishing dock into production and we can put the farm the rest of the extra farmers from these two fields right into this bad boy and uh right into this bad boy and we'll uh, we'll start pumping out the pumping out the go oh my god. There he is, trader coming down the river. We have no one to trade. No one's there. Like, nobody, nobody, we don't have a single trader. Come on, trader, get over there. Hurry up, run, run in there. We got a merchant. We got a merchant. What's he got? Oh. Ah. So, these people, they don't have, um, these people just don't have, is it how this works? They just don't have, I mean, because technically, we could probably use some meat. Like, if I just shove this higher up in the priority list, then, you know, we could, we could use some meats, um, maybe, if we ever find. <sighs> yeah, I don't really think we need anything. Bean seeds? You wanna give me beans? Uh, no, no thanks. You can get out of here. Yeah, you're right. That's right. Keep rowing yourself down that river. Keep going. Alright, sweet. So, can probably get that up and running sooner or later. Um, what we should probably do is, here real quick, only assign five. And then, get two in there. And just start cutting down trees for the winter because otherwise we're probably gonna be royally fucked on that. We don't have the firewood. If we don't have enough firewood, we're probably in for it. We're gonna go for less there and assign this person here. Because we do need extra foresters, because we need a constant supply of wood. We just chew through it way too much in that crop field, and they're just sharing the workers there. So this will be done by autumn. This is producing a 20% yield, so we can harvest that, I guess, in late. When we get to late autumn, we can harvest the orchard. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video, and um, hopefully, like I said, we can harvest the pe peaches, and uh, Hopefully these peppers don't die before the end of the season. Um, and we can probably, hopefully, wait for another merchant and uh, get some livestock in the pasture. We can get our food situation sorted because then, you know, these won't, you know, they won't really die too quick. And uh, all the people won't be starving to death. So, that's all for this video, and I will see you.